Hello guys, how are you? Um, I have already posted a video today. However, and as I told you, I'm just having a little fun here. <coughs> and, um, well, you guys, I was scrolling through some videos, uh, modeling videos, making a research. I mean, getting information, getting info on uh, armor modeling, basically, techniques and stuff. And I saw um, an Emil Karbarka's uh, tutorial video. Hello, Milka, and thank you very much. Um, on how to chipping um, a Panzer, uh, an Africa Corps uh, armor tank. Well, I thought I am building an Israeli one, an IDF M60 Patton. Who saw action? <clears throat> and uh, well, it's desert, and that technique applies only to desert camo. So, what the hell? Why not? And I began to use that technique. I had some mask all. I had some mask all here. I had a sponge, I dipped the mask all, and then I started to put on the on the armor, still painted in black. I dipped it and I randomly or not um, applied the mask all and in the in the turret and um, I thought I didn't have any sand uh, spray. Uh, after all, I had two bottles, so fantastic. Uh, and I applied the sand, the desert sand, Umbral Sand 63. Um, and I applied it uh, in, the, um, in the model. Let it dry and started chipping the paint. And, uh, well, for a guy who I had, I done some chipping in the, my 6M2, A6M20, as you saw in the video, but on, a, on an armor, I never achieved a level of detail before because uh, I was too inexperienced. I built armor in 95, 92, 91 just for fun. I didn't have the knowledge enough to all of this, but well, I'm still working on it, but after after saw, I mean, I'm still chipping, I'm still chipping the paint, and um, I have to say, um, it's awesome. It's fucking awesome, and that. It's very easy to chip because even with my nail, I can. It's not the correct, but uh, I don't have any. And then with the finger and with a very stiff paintbrush that I had here, very old, stiff paintbrush, um, the tower needs a little bit more, but, well, I mean. And here it is. Obviously, it's going to get some stowage here, some boxes, all that. Uh, sorry about like all that tank shit. Um, but I mean, this is a test. I, I'm, I'm practicing on this one. Uh, but obviously if I can get a, a very good, if I can get a, a, a good result, obviously I will get it and I want to, but 
if I mess this one up, uh, I don't have any kind of problem because I'm practicing for the Panzers and. Uh, but uh, I must say, I am very impressed. That is an awesome technique. I saw some videos of um, QDC uses chip chipping very well, but with an air spray. I didn't have any air spray, so I couldn't um, test it. But this is a desert camo uh, pattern, and I and well, I am impressed. It's a very very good technique. So don't forget. It. I mean, you guys know. <laughs> so I'm sorry. You guys know more of this, and I'm being honest. Uh, you build tanks all the time, uh, but this is a very, very good technique. Maskell, a sponge, dip it, paint it, and remove the, the maskell. It's simple and effective. It's very good. It's very good indeed. Well, guys. Just another day of fun. Building tanks, it's fun. I mean, the idea I have is that airplanes, you make a mistake, you fucked up. But tanks are a little more forgiver, forgiving, you know? You can put a little box over here or a little detail over there or. A tank, it's more forgiving, but it's also great fun to build one. And very detailed they are. Oh, I'm going to the dark side. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm a plane guy. I have all those planes to build in uh, so little time. But this is fun. This is truly fun. Well, guys, all the best to you. Sorry to videos on a day. But uh, I thought this this was for you guys that know the result. It's maybe trivial, but for me, it's very very exciting. Yeah, I'm going to and keep on going. And this is for my dust allergies. I and, and in springtime, it's even worse. And when I paint, oh shit! All the best. Keep modeling, please. Keep modeling.